What's going on guys, my name is Embrace the Pace, and today I wanted to give you guys a quick little update on my offseason roster for NBA 2K17, and also let you guys know what you can expect as we approach free agency. NBA free agency actually starts tomorrow, and the offseason roster will obviously be getting a lot of updates during this time. It's one of the most exciting times of year, tons of guys switching teams, tons of guys signing new contracts, lots of drama and all that stuff will be updated ASAP with my offseason roster. So I wanted to give you guys a quick little overview of what you can expect from that. First off, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's downloaded the roster so far. As you can see, at the time of me recording this video, we're at about 34,000 uh, downloads, which is pretty insane. Again, the roster came out, um, I guess we're pushing a week now that the roster's come out. So uh, 34,000 downloads in that time is pretty cool. It's gotten up onto the most popular page, so I'm sure the downloads will continue to accelerate, especially once we get um, into free agency. So once again, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, so as far as what I've been doing with the offseason roster so far, uh, a few more players have been added. There were actually some updates to some uh, European players and some draft and stash guys in the free agent pool. Courtesy of someone on Twitter, his Twitter handle is NBA2K EuroLeague. He actually has a really, really good EuroLeague roster um, up and he decided that he would put in some of his creations for some of the EuroLeague guys into this roster so you don't have to use 2k's creations because those are not very good at all so a good example of this right here is bogdan bogdanovich who is on the kings now he he agreed to a three-year 36 million dollar deal with them um, so he's in there and i think this guy's creation looks very very good for bogdanovich um, so a lot of those guys have been upgraded upgraded or updated as far as appearances go um, and i've also added some more players to the free agent pool with more players being added as well. I've got all the new transactions up to date, including the biggest move of the offseason so far, and that is Chris Paul being traded to the Rockets. He decided to sign with them in free agency, but in an attempt to let the Clippers get something back for him, he decided to just go ahead and opt into his final year of his contract, and then they traded him. Classy move by Chris Paul really puts the Rockets gave up a lot to get him for sure they traded Patrick Beverly Lou Williams um, Montrez Harrell uh, as well as Sam Decker and some other guys it was a really really complicated trade I think it ended up being like an eight person trade and guys are going to be getting waived so I did my best making that trade um, you know as accurate as possible so the Rockets right now in the roster at the time I'm recording this again this is being recorded on the night of June 28th so it's actually technically June 29th when I'm recording this um, so by the time you watch this there may be some more moves but those will be updated um, as quickly as possible uh, so you guys don't have to worry about that but I got all these new trades in Ryan Kelly to the Rockets Sean Long to the Rockets um, and then the Clippers now have a bunch of players a couple guys I did wave I put Darren Hilliard and Kyle Wilcher in the free agent pool because they'll most likely be waived um, but we do have DeAndre Liggins, Sam Decker, Montrez Harrell, um, Patrick Beverly, Lou Williams on the Clippers. So definitely a huge blockbuster. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that deal with Chris Paul going to the Rockets. I think it's an interesting fit. I don't think it's the best fit basketball wise because James Harden's a dom ball dominant um, scorer. Chris Paul's a ball dominant point guard. So it'll be interesting to see how that um, all works out. But overall, the Rockets are in a pretty good position now, and they'll definitely be trying to make some more moves, and maybe they'll become one of those destination teams for free agents um, down there in Houston. It'll definitely be interesting. The NBA offseason so far has been crazy, and I'm expecting some more fireworks here in free agency. So, like I said, free agency starts up tomorrow, and I'm actually going to be very, very busy tomorrow. It's actually my brother's birthday, and we're going to be out doing stuff. I have some family in town as well. Uh, so I'm not going to actually be home very much. I will be home at night. So deals that happen at midnight, I'll be able to update immediately. But throughout the day on July 1st, I can't promise everything will be updated ASAP. If it's not, don't worry. I'll be keeping up with everything. Um, there's no need to tweet me and tell me about what moves are happening and asking when updates are going to happen. I will keep you guys updated on all that stuff. I'll be keeping tabs on it. 
um, and getting that stuff updated as quickly as possible. Uh, as far as after this, I actually wanted to make this video because I probably won't be able to make a video um, for the next week or so, maybe maybe even a little bit longer than that, because uh, I actually just started a calculus class, and it's like a super intensive online summer class. It's like five weeks long. I have assignments pretty much every day, um, and I'm actually starting another high-level math summer class that's going to overlap with that. So I'm going to be really busy with that. I'll be updating the roster, but I probably won't have much time to touch base with you guys on YouTube. So I definitely wanted to let you guys know that here so you won't um, be wondering why I'm not making videos. Um, but I will be updating the roster, like I said. So make sure you guys are following me on Twitter for all the new updates with the roster. I'm going to get this thing updated as quickly as I can. But like I said, the first day or two of free agency i won't be home very much uh, but i will be updating it whenever i get a chance and then after that uh things will be coming rapid fire today with the chris paul trade i had that in within five minutes of the news breaking uh, a lot of the other trades as well so i hope you guys are enjoying it i've definitely been enjoying working on the offseason roster and look forward to more updates in the very near future i'll talk to you guys later